to the famous Pancake Rocks and Blowholes, the Oparara Arches, Paparoa and Kahurangi National Parks, a spectacular coastline, lush tropical rainforests and most of all friendly west coast hospitality and conveniently located on the South Island's main touring route, Bulla is packed with some of the most diverse natural wonders and vast landscapes. The coast's second largest town, Westport, is situated near the mouth of the Buller River and is often used as a base when out exploring the other three main areas of Buller, Punakaiki, Karamea and Reefton. Westport has all the amenities you'd expect in a small city. And with a low-key atmosphere, it makes it the ideal place to enjoy some R&R. &R. Like any holiday, the first thing to get sorted is your accommodation. The Westport Spa Motel is in a great location, just a short walk from the main shopping area. All the rooms are generous in size, modern, warm and cosy with all the luxuries of home. Each unit opens to a peaceful private courtyard and balcony to enjoy on a sunny west coast day. And of course, as the name suggests, enjoy soaking in the spa bath after a long day of sightseeing. With close proximity to the centre of town, you can easily sit off on a casual walk, enjoy browsing and indulge in some retail therapy, with plenty of gift stores and local specialty stores. You'll be amazed at the vast range of gifts, either for yourself or someone special at the Buller Pharmacy. The staff are friendly and will help you find whatever it is you need. A walk out one door and through another and you're in nuts and sports. The ideal store for anyone needing children's toys, indoor games and sports gear. Nuts and Sports also have an extensive range of outdoor and fishing gear, so make sure you pop in and grab what you need when exploring the outdoors. To plan and prepare your adventure around the Buller District, stop into the eyesight. They have all the info you need to plan your adventures and while you're there, take the time to head into the Coal Town Museum. Here you can learn all about the history of the area and why it's such a distinctive place to stay. Westport has a great mix of cafes, restaurants and bars, all offering a variety of food and entertainment options. Head into the Criterion Hotel, a favourite local hotspot, famous for the delicious homemade pizzas made fresh with the toppings of your choice, catering for most dietary requirements. You can choose to either take away or eat in, sit and enjoy. By evening, the Criterion is a great place to wind down. The bar has a number of tap beers on offer and is well known for its genuine West Coast hospitality. Make sure you stop in on your next trip to Westport. The whole family are well catered for in Westport, with a mix of adventure and activities for young and old. The Solid Energy Centre is a short distance from the town centre and offers a mix of recreation and sporting options, including an indoor swimming pool. Exploring the Buller region, you'll need to book in for a few days, if not more. North of Westport, there are plenty of historic settlements filled with rich heritage. The Denison Plateau is home to one of the richest, high-quality coal seams in New Zealand. For many years, it was the country's biggest producing coal mine with an estimated 12 million tonne carried down the incline during its operation from October 1879 to August 1967. The plateau is easily accessible with plenty of historical artefacts telling stories of long ago. Granity is another small historic coastal town that is en route to Karamea. And if you're after luxurious four-star seaside accommodation, then you'll find it right here at Miners on Sea. Set along the coast of the mighty Tasman Sea, you'll be engrossed by the sights and sounds of the ocean. The chalets are fully self-contained with ensuite bathrooms and fully equipped kitchen. Miners on Sea is ideal for couples wanting that precious time together away from it all. With that beautiful surrounding area and deck to enjoy that west coast sunset, you'll be pleased you stayed. On the way to Karamea, you can enjoy the picturesque views of Lake Hanlon. This mirror lake nestles a terrace of beach forest at the foot of the Karamea Bluffs. Enjoy a gentle walk along the easy grade track. You can also enjoy the viewing platform providing great views and photo opportunities. On your way towards Karamea, stop toward the bottom of the Karamea Bluffs. Get up and close to the giant Matai tree over a thousand years old. A short walk is set amongst the rainforest. Look up and take a look at the canopy as it closes in around you. 
one and a half hours drive north from Westport and set in the sheltered basin of the Kahurangi National Park, sits the small town of Karamea, existing in splendid isolation literally at the end of the road. Nestled perfectly between the densely forested mountains of the Kahurangi National Park and the wild Tasman Sea, it's the ultimate place to go if you want to get away from it all. A relaxing, peaceful small town with a nature wonderland right at its doorstep. Karamea enjoys a temperate subtropical climate more attuned to the Nelson Tasman region than the rest of the west coast. A moderate mild winter can be enjoyed here with many fabulous places to visit. Fly fishing and surf casting are favourite pastimes. Moderate and regular rainfall ensures the forests stay lush and green, including the subtropical Nico palms which grow in profusion here. A short drive along the coast leads you to the unsealed road towards the Hefe Track, the longest of New Zealand's great walks at 78 kilometres. Here there are several short day walks, the Nico Palm Walk and the trek over to Scotts Beach. The track is also open to mountain bikers during the winter months. The Oparata Basin features some of the most famous and spectacular limestone arches and caves. The Oparata Arch is the largest at 212 metres high and the biggest of its kind in the southern hemisphere. The Mariah Gate, much smaller, offers amazing sights too. A small climb down into the arch and you'll be amazed at its charming views. A continued walk around the track is the Muratan, a peaceful, small but picturesque lake tucked away amongst the bush. It's here at the Oparata Basin you can also take a special guided walk through the World Heritage Honeycomb Caves. Public access is restricted due to high conservation values. Along the track you'll see plenty of dense bush and native rainforest and of course the Oparata River. Now Bill, we've just stopped to admire the river. Can you tell me why it's so brown? The brown comes from the leaching of the tannins out of the beech leaves or the leaves in general from the forest floor. So you get a lot of rain, it leaches the tannins into the water and that actually gives you a brown effect, plus gives you a, a slightly acidic water base. So it's not toxic, you can drink it. Okay. Okay? Mm. If you choose to. If you choose yeah. to. A short walk will lead you up to the cave entrance. This cave system contains notable limestone formation in its 15 kilometres of passages. I didn't realise that these were so huge. Pretty mind blowing, really. Right. The caves are home to the largest and most varied collection of sub fossil bird bones ever found in New Zealand, including the moa. So, here we've got the layout of a complete moa. This is the bush moa, the little guy. It's tiny. It's yeah. very small. The height would be about 600 high. Now, these bones have been actually um, dated from 600 years when they were extinct right down to 20,000 years ago. A close look at the glowworms, then it's a steady climb towards the cave opening. An 11 kilometre drive from Westport is Cape Falwind, a holiday paradise with beautiful beaches for surfing, an enjoyable scenic coastal walkway and the most accessible seal colony in New Zealand. The easy 10 minute track leads from the car park has easy wheelchair access and leads to platforms directly overlooking the colony. From here you can follow the track further around to Cape Falwind, which offers panoramic views of the Cape and rugged coastline. The walk is approximately three hours return and is handy to one of the west coast's most popular surf spots, Tauranga Bay. Tauranga Bay is the perfect spot for keen surfers. With a left hand point and beach break, this spot is best at low tide and in a two metre swell. Surfing lessons are also held here for those wanting to learn with a qualified instructor. Arriving back to Westport, take a left turn at the junction and follow the road along the mighty scenic Buller River Gorge flowing along State Highway 6. From here, the river looks gentle, peaceful and offers drop-dead gorgeous scenery. Stop off at one of the many lookout points for views along your way. Reefton, the little west coast town situated inland about 80k southeast of Westport, is a serene town that boasts a significant and colourful history. Established in 1870, Reefton became an innovative and prosperous place to live. Originally a gold mining town, it became a centre for coal mining in the 20th century. Reefton gained fame by being the first town in the southern hemisphere to have a public supply of electricity, with the shops of the main street being lit up in time for Christmas in 1888. 
The town is valued for its warm hospitality, interesting and varied activities. Learn the history and enjoy stories from those golden years and be enriched with locals passionate to keep the history alive. While in the township, you can enjoy some light shopping too, with boutique stores offering specialty giftwares and clothing. Local artists also showcase their work in the gallery. With an array of pieces, you'll be fascinated as you stroll through. And if you're lucky, you may even get to see the artists at work. Finding accommodation in Reefton is easy, with a large amount of options on offer. From boutique, cosy, well-appointed villas, to new, modern motels suitable for couples and families, right through to budget accommodation for backpackers that's easily affordable. You'll have plenty to choose from, each provider offering a unique, customised stay. Reefton is an outdoors playground, surrounded by beautiful lush forests and the flowing waters of the Inangahua River that runs parallel to the main street. A renowned brown trout fishing spot, the Inangahua River is also a large tributary to the lower Bulla River. With some of the best four-wheel driving, hiking, mountain and bike tracks surrounding the area, Reefton really should be one place on your list to explore. For the slightly more adventurous, river rafting is a very popular activity on the surrounding rivers and a great way to see parts of the landscape that aren't otherwise accessible. Reefton is also home to one of New Zealand's largest BMX and skateboard parks, a very popular spot enjoyed by many local youth. When you're feeling hungry, Reefton have an abundance of options along the main street. Anything from fresh pies and sandwiches, classic fish and chips or al fresco dining. For more information on the Bullard District and to discover more about the top of the West Coast, then make sure you check out their website, bullard.co.nz.